Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In today's video, I will show you guys the best jailbreak tweaks for the first week of August 2017. This might as well be the last video that I will do on jailbreak tweaks until a new jailbreak comes out for iOS 10, 10.3.2 or 10.3.1 or whatever it is. This is because I see people are not interested in these videos anymore, they don't watch them and it doesn't make any sense to upload videos that nobody wants to watch, so let me know what you guys think. Should I stop making these tweaks videos or should I continue doing them as I do every week I post a new video on jailbreak tweaks that got, got released on that week. So without further ado, let's get started. The first tweak for this video is called Boxy3 and finally Boxy3 has been released for iOS 10. So Boxy is a tweak that allows you to change the setup of the icons on the home screen. As you can see like this, they look pretty cool. So all you have to do is just swipe up on the home screen like this and it will show you this panel with these sliders which allow you to change the position of the icons. If you swipe here, you will have the presets that you have saved. So if you make a setup of your icons, you want to save it, you just click add right here, you enter a name and then you can save that set. So if you go here, you will have all the presets saved. You can just go ahead and select one of them, click select here and it will change the icons to that setup. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, you can enable the quick settings right here. Then on general configuration here, you can choose if you want to see any of these, like the page control visible, icon labels, also square icons and you can hide the dock. And if you go to icon layout right here, you can go ahead and choose the number of columns and rows of the icons that you, that you will see on the home screen of your device. The next tweak is called Switcher CC and it will combine the app switcher with the control center. So you will have your cards up here and here you will have the control center. So now you will have three pages on the control center. If you jump to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. You can enable dark mode, sleek mode, and also you can enable big cards right here. So you can also enable here replace CC, which means that you will go to the CC, to the switcher CC. Once you open the control center, you don't need to double tap on the home button to go to the app switcher. You just go ahead and open the, the control center and it will take you to switcher CC. Dock 11 for iOS 10 is a new tweak which will bring the iOS 11 dock style to your iOS 10 device. So you will have the rounded corners, also the dock icons won't have any labels. So the tweak is simple, you just install it, you don't need to configure anything. Fake call history is a tweak that allows to add fake calls to the history of calls on the phone app. So what you have to do is just enter the number right there, then enter the duration of the call here in seconds, then set the number of hours and number of minutes where you want to set the call, and then you can enable here in the past and outgoing, and all you have to do is just tap here, add the call, and it will add that call to your missed calls here or to, to your call history right here, you can see on the phone, on the phone app, you will see those calls. First of all, let me just kill the phone app and go back and you can see now it will add that call that I just entered there on the phone history. So you can make the calls like outgoing calls and also missed calls, whatever you want. And if you want to add a new one, all you have to do is just go back to the settings, just enter the new information here and just enable this switch once again and it will add another call to the phone call history. The next tweak is called Blink Badge and it adds this nice blinking animation to the badges on your home screen. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you can switch to a bouncing animation. So just switch there and you can see now the animation will switch from blinking to bouncing. The next tweak is called Backspace Plus and what it does is that it allows you to change the speed of the backspace button. When you want to delete a letter or a word, you can change that speed. So you enable it right here, then you have different speeds which you can choose from. So the default is this one right here, fast, and you can enable fastest, slow or even the slowest. And then respring your device for the changes to take effect. And the last tweak for this video is called Wake Tunes. What it does is that it will wake the screen of your device when the songs 
switch so you're listening to a song when the new song comes on it will wake up you can see here it will wake up the screen of your device so you can see which song is playing the tweak doesn't have any options to configure all you have to do is install it so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed these new tweaks and also let me know what do you guys think should i continue these series of videos showing the newest tweaks that get released even though I know a lot of people are not interested and a lot of people don't have a jailbroken device at the moment. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe for more video. Also follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.